May the Lord give you his peace. My brothers and sisters, in the past few months, we have been through some trying times in our culture and our world. We have been through a global pandemic. We have seen thousands of people die. We have seen thousands of people sick. We have seen so much pain and suffering over these past few months that it's really hard to take it all in. Not only that, in our streets we have anarchy and tyranny, we have uh, unrest and civil unrest, we have burnings of churches. It's, it's just too much. It's too much to take in and it's too much for us to do by ourselves alone. There is only one answer to such tragedy, such struggle, such strife. There is only one way to obtain the grace of peace and that way is the prayer. In 1917, when Our Lady came to Fatima, she told us to pray the rosary every day. To pray the rosary for the conversion of sinners. To pray the rosary for the souls in purgatory. To pray the rosary for those souls who are in danger of going to hell. She told us to pray the rosary for peace. To pray for the end of war. To avoid further wars. For the conversion of Russia. She told us to pray the rosary. The rosary is a very powerful and beautiful weapon that we must utilize in these days. That you and I together must come together to pray the rosary for peace in our world, to restore peace to our streets, to pray the rosary to end this craziness happening in our culture. We need to pray the rosary for the conversion of sinners. Pray the rosary for the conversion of those who are hell-bent on the destruction of the church and of the faith. We need to pray the rosary for the end of this horrible pandemic. And so for this reason, I'm reaching out to you and I'm inviting you to come to St. James Church starting this Thursday, July 16th, the Feast of a Lady of Mount Carmel, to come here every night for nine nights straight from the 16th to the 24th of July, every night, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. We're going to have exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. We'll have the rosary. We'll have prayers in honor of St. James. And then we'll say some other prayers as well in closing with benediction. We're going to pray nine nights straight, the rosary and other prayers, for an end of this pandemic, for the restoration of peace in our world and the conversion of every heart back to God. Our novena of nights will end on Friday, the 24th of July. And then on the morning of the 25th of July, at 8 o'clock in the morning, we'll have our regular Saturday morning Mass. But it's not a regular Saturday morning Mass. It will be the Feast of St. James the Apostle. And so on the feast day of St. James the Apostle, we're going to have this beautiful special Mass celebrating St. James, thanking God for those favors that he has bestowed upon us. We're going to celebrate that Mass as the culmination of our nine-day novena, asking Our Lady to bring us peace. We're going to ask the assistance of St. James as well, since he is our, our uh, parish patron. So I invite you to come out every night this week, starting on Thursday, July 16th, from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. for the Rosary, Adoration, Benediction, Prayers to St. James. We'll conclude on Friday the 24th, and then on Saturday morning, July 25th, we'll celebrate our Feast of St. James at 8 o'clock in the morning here in our parish. I hope you all can join me for this wonderful time of prayer, that you and I together can pray to Our Lady, to the Queen of Heaven, to the Queen of Peace, to obtain peace in our world, that she will crush this virus beneath her heel, and that she will bring all of her children, every single soul in the face of this earth, into the beautiful, loving heart of her son. So I invite you to join me this week. May God bless you, and may Mary keep you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.